All right, I almost didn't show this one because you're going to laugh at the epic collapse that I have on the back nine, but Shooting Star in Wyoming, Jackson Hole maybe, or somewhere around there. Really beautiful landscape. We've got the hot air balloons. We've got kind of the endless um, valley, if you will. I really do like the course. Um, I'm just, the, the swing was struggling this day from uh, mostly I think fatigue I was just tired didn't really put um, a whole lot of thought into the swing just going through the paces sort of so we'll see some good shots we'll see some bad shots opening birdies are oh a par because I screwed the first shot up so bad okay opening pars are fine though we'll head to two 173 yard. I think we're playing the whites. It's a pretty long course. Um, it is at a very high elevation. Usually I was playing it um, at my home elevation of right around 2,000 feet um, is what I have GS Pro set to. I think my actual elevation is a couple hundred feet below that, but 2,000 seems to put me on the correct yardage when I go outside. And uh, if I'm seeing what I see here when I go outside, I think that's basically the point. Um, strange pull. It's going to get into the deep rough. This third hole is a par 5, though. we got a little creek running up the entire right side and then crossing in front of the pin with a front pin location uh, that brings that into play quite a bit I definitely don't want to be short 145 was looking for a bit of a draw and it stayed out right and it got eaten up by the bunker out of the deep rough this doesn't go super far but far enough uh, to save par there as well so kind of scratching and clawing my way to the first couple here really nice landscape there with uh, the water left on this fourth hole 334 yards um, just taking maybe look like a three wood there punting it out to about 120 away should be smooth pitching wedge Ooh, overdraw Not bad, just overdrew. The overdraw gave it a couple extra yards. Looking at this incredible mountain range here on five, long par four, 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 three. That looks smooth. Smooth is, what's the saying? Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Is that it? I don't know. Ends up in a good place, 177 away on this long par four. Got to be happy about that. And then just everything looking so on plane there. Hit it. Ooh. That's a shame that that ends up being a par because it was almost an eagle from 180. And then uh, skips by the hole. We have to two putt that one with the auto putt. And we're off to the sixth. Should have been like almost the identical shot, but tried to do something weird and sprayed it right. It really didn't take off that far right, but caught the spin going quite a bit. Able to save par there. Nice little chip out of the bunker. Get a sand save. And we're still even through six. So far, so good. Um, I do know what's coming here. I just recently cut this one for the edit. And it's it's not a great, uh, it's mostly just like chipping errors and stuff. A good drive on the short par 4. We're going to be pretty close. be nice to get a cheap birdie here on 7. 43 away. Green to work with. Really no excuse here. That looked good. All right. All right. Minus 1 headed to 8. From scratching and clawing, get two good shots in a row, and uh, get yourself a birdie. 
383, another par 4. I gotta say, this course is really cool. We got split fairways. This creek is ever present, uh, at least on the front nine. A lot of good water shots. Um, the deep rough is everywhere. Anything that doesn't look like grass gets categorized as deep rough. A major pole here. We also got the hot air balloons, which I'm from Albuquerque originally, so hot air balloons in the landscape I do appreciate. Bouncing it off the rough and rolling it towards the hole here. Well played to save the par on eight. But a bad iron shot there. That's kind of the uh, trigger to things to come. A par five ninth. Four, nine, eight water left. And going left. Settle. Okay. It settles up, but then watch this. It's on a six degree slope, and I pulled it, and it just gets to the fairway. Really playing with fire here. 106 in on a par five, though. Got to reset and just come up with a good shot from 106. I carried it 106, and it bounced over for a par, but... Uh, that's the kind of thing you want to see is after two kind of bad shots you got a 106 wedge in your hand execute all right let's watch the final part here if you're still with us like and subscribe we got a bunch of courses coming at you shooting stars really nice so check out the back nine now um, we're gonna explore all kinds of places in the back nine just a poor effort there to start on the tenth here and then you're gonna have to make this to save par. Gave it a run, but that'll be a bogey. And a sign of things to come. 514 yard par five, 11th. All right. A decent second shot to just lay up here. I thought the water kind of curling around the back of the hole would have made it tough to just send it. So 97, left 100 in, and just yanked it. Just an absolute pull. Launching almost five degrees left is not good. And then what a poor effort there, missing the flag by about 10 yards. So back-to-back -back bogeys, and then we head to the 12th. Par 4, 391. Another cool hole. Water left is a uh, pretty consistent theme here at Shooting Star. 149.2. Not quite going to get there. That's short. Maybe a little toey with that side spin. And it looks like it's coming back into the fairway. Chipping to save par. Do we get this one close? No. That one comes up short as well. Not good. Bogey, bogey, bogey to start the back nine. And then we got a 282-yard par four. Maybe we can get on track here. I don't have high hopes. The T comes flying back at us. It's got to carry another yard to get past this. Ooh, it does. All right, 34. Let's chip this one close. What do we think? Big bounce. Couldn't get that close either. 27, so like eight yards off on all these. Just really no touch um, with the yardages and the chips. And we'll head to 14, which is a long par for 461. I hit a pretty good one, but pulled it left. Stay in the rough. 
All right, 212. It's at least a chance to go for it. Didn't hit that good, though. And it's in this bunker. So 30 yard bunker shot down slope. Splashed it out pretty good, actually. 3.3, and it didn't give me the par save. Pretty upset about that. All right, par five, fifteenth. Still on the bogey train. Uh, towed that, but didn't want it to. Uh, wanted to aim right and draw it rather than aim at the water here. Water very much a part of this hole, and might be a part of this shot even. Yeah. And then watch this one. Just, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I was going to go for it. What an idiot. It wasn't even close. So now hitting my fifth. And I didn't want... I, now I thought, oh, well, the deep rough's going to really eat it up, so I better go after it. And uh, that's what we get here. So now I have to make this for a bogey. And almost did. That would have been better. To make that for a bogey would have started the momentum back. We only would have been at plus four. As it stands, plus five headed to 60. Another good look at these mountains on the way in. Uh, on the left, I see a hang glider maybe up there in the sky. Just a really well like thought out Wyoming course. Like uh, You could have just went with the planes and the GPS view, but very good job course designer on the little extras here and there to make it feel like uh, a valley somewhere in Wyoming correct me if I'm wrong too I'm, I was just pretty sure this was the Jackson Hole Wyoming golf club the ball rolls forever here to secure another bogey three putt and we haven't really had a lot of three putts that was like our uh, introduction to that today Nope. Didn't really hit that good either. And this green's so big that let's do back to back three putts as well. <laughs> so we've pretty much bogeyed or double bogeyed every hole on the back nine. Let's see if we can keep it up with the 460 yard par four. That's not a shot shape I usually hit, but. I'm digging it. It did get over, and now we got 185 remaining. Let's just try and get it on the green. Nope, sprayed it right. I think it's going to be a par, though. It is a par. But yeah, look. <laughs> Okay, 35 and a 44. That's kind of what I do in real life sometimes. Whites were 6,600 yards, and uh, we didn't do a very good job handicap soaring. We'll see you later.